So we finally hit 400 mil, and look what we have here. Hey guys, what's going on? Russo here bringing you guys episode 4 of the Road to the 1 Billion GP Rune Dragon Tab. Thank you guys for being very patient with me on this series. I have been traveling a lot in the last couple of weeks, so unfortunately I haven't been able to play as much as I would like to. And on top of that, I've been a little bit sick, so recording videos has been very, very, very difficult. But I'm very excited to announce, as you guys saw from the first clip, we are over 400 million GP. And we got some really, 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 really nice items in this uh, set of 100 mil. So for those of you guys who are not familiar with this series, we are basically using our alternate account to kill a bunch of rune dragons. And we are trying to get a tab that is worth 1 billion GP. Now, the caveats are any of the unique items that I do get, I will sell in the GE because their prices fluctuate a lot. And then what I will do is I will take that, uh, take those, that GP, I will trade it into the bank and get platinum tokens from that and then i will store the platinum tokens in the tab itself so i will keep all the platinum tokens i have not spent a single penny nor will i spend a single penny from this tab and uh, i want that bank value to say 1 billion gp once we actually do finish the series so should be around 10 episodes we are on episode 4 today so without further ado guys let's go ahead let's get into the tab let's go make our uniques as you guys saw from the first clip we do have four uniques this time around which is really 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 awesome i have a couple stories behind that as well let's go check out our rune dragon kill count and we'll see you guys in the next clip so as you guys can tell from the first clip of this episode we do have a 432 million gp bank tab which is really 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 cool and you guys saw the four unique items that we have during this episode we have three dragon limbs which we will make into three dragon crossbows then we have one dragon metal lump which we will turn into the dragon plate body using our dragon chain body as well as our dragon metal shower and shout out to one of my friends lores for actually making those for me i can't enter the mythic guild so on the rare off occasion that we actually do get the dragon metal lump which is a really 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 good drop uh he actually goes ahead and makes those for us so we can sell them make them into platinum tokens turn the uh, gp into platinum tokens and then actually bank them in the tab so thank you very much for doing that i really do appreciate it so uh, but yeah, guys, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and make the uniques. Like I said, sell them for the platinum tokens. Insert the platinum tokens into this tab. Uh, this tab should probably go up by around 10 mil or so because the value of the dragon chain body or the dragon plate body, I should say, is around a little bit over 14 mil. So uh, we're going to go from a value of around 3.9 mil, as you guys can see from this game filter. Uh, we already kind of did it. So 3.9 mil for the dragon metal lump, and we'll go all the way up to around 14.1 mil for the dragon plate body. So a lot of you guys also requested I have a spreadsheet that basically tracks how I'm doing each episode. So for instance, we have 51,195k runes this episode the spreadsheet kind of says okay what did we have last episode and how many chaos runes have we gained in our 100 um you know for lack of a better you know sentence 100 million gp right because this series is going to be 10 episodes it's supposed to be at 100 200 300 400 500 etc uh, million gp kind of see the progression of the tab and to see how many items that we get so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to throw that spreadsheet up on the screen for you guys so you guys can see what i'm talking about and kind of see where all my progression is so let me go ahead we'll make the uniques we'll sell them to the grand exchange i'll show you guys how much they sell for we'll turn them into platinum tokens the really cool thing as well we should be getting around 35,000 platinum tokens from uh, these four unique items which will actually put us over 100,000 platinum tokens which is really exciting so the this uh platinum token this platinum token um stack is actually going to be turning into a white stack which is going to be really 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 cool so i'm very excited for that i hope you guys are excited for it let's go ahead let's make the uniques and we'll see you guys back in the bank once those uniques are done so we finally have all four of our uniques crafted as you guys can see we have three dragon crossbows and we have one dragon plate body what we're going to do we're just going to go ahead throw these all in the ge and collect the money so that uh that dragon plate body actually just sold for 14.6 million GP, which is really, really, really cool. So as you guys can tell, it's a very, very, very nice drop to get. And these three Dragon Crossbows sold for a total, a total of 25.3 million GP, bringing us a total of, let's see how many, uh, let's see how many GP that we have here, guys. 39.9 million, almost 40 million GP just from our, uh, Almost 40 million GP, and I cannot believe I just did that. So, almost 40 million GP from our four unique items. We're going to go ahead, and we're going to actually deposit all of this into the bank, as you guys can see here. So, we're going to go ahead, and we're going to review what our tab is going to look like. So, 128,000 platinum tokens. I believe that is an increase of roughly 
40 mil, which is exactly what you guys just saw, which is really cool. So 39.395 million, which is awesome to see. Um, so a couple of differences that I do want to mention, and I will show you guys the spreadsheet as well. I will actually pull that up onto the screen. So our KS ruins went up from 38,965 up to 51,195. So we got around 12,000 KS ruins. So we got the most runes uh, for, you know, we got the most drops with our KS runes. Um, obviously, guys, as you know, the theme is for all the all these other videos, the biggest margin that we've done is actually our runite bars. So we have got an increase of over, over 2,000 runite bars, which is the equivalent of roughly 24 0.6 million GP, which is definitely a lot of money. So as you guys can probably tell, a lot of the things that are coming from this, um, are the unique items, so the dragon limbs, the dragon metal lumps, as well as the dra uh, draconic massages, if we are fortunate enough to ever get any of those, then obviously a lot of our money is in those runite bars as well. So there's obviously a lot of money in some other stuff, um, but it, you know, a lot of the majority, 24 million of this current tab from last uh, last episode to this episode is literally just in runite bars. So our next impactful one is going to be our dragon bones, which went up from uh, 6,576 to 8,570. I just do want to remind you guys that a lot of the dragon bones, because our dragon Dragon bones and our runite bars don't actually match up. Uh, the reason for that is that a lot of people who are coming here on Slayer Tasks to the Rune Dragons um, actually, to, for whatever reason, decide not to pick up their Dragon Bones. So, whenever those are laying on the ground, I will go ahead and pick them up. It's an extra free, I think, two and a half thousand GP or two, you know, it's it's around 2,000 GP for free. So, I will go ahead, I will, you know, snag that and pick that up. So, uh, that's really, really, really critical. So, I mean, they're almost 3K each. There's no reason why I wouldn't do that. Um, so that's why you kind of see the disconnect with the dragon bones and then the runite uh, bars. So, but like I said, guys, the runite bars are definitely something that's holding a lot of value for us. Runite ore obviously holding a lot of value as well. 4.7 million increase from last uh, last episode, um, as well as the runite plates, which is another 4.7 million increase as well. So a lot of stuff in the more expensive rune items as we would expect. Um, I'm really kind of you know I'm really excited about the dragon items. So if you guys didn't know, we got 20. I believe we got uh well we got 12 dragon medium helms between last episode and this episode, but we. We ended up getting 20 dragon legs uh, between last episode and this episode, and compared to everything else, that's actually a lot of uh, that's actually a lot of dragon legs. So uh, the three previous episodes for dragon legs, we were at 18, then 34, so we got 16, and then 16. So we've actually got four more, which is almost the equivalent to you know another I think like 600. Uh, thousand gp so it actually does play you know a pretty big impact just getting four more in that 100 mil tab so granted you know we are a little bit over the 100 mil we're roughly around 450 right now uh which probably means the 500 mil episode is much closer uh than we all think so that's pretty much the tab. Like I said, I will show you guys the Excel spreadsheet. It should have been on the screen for a while at this point. Uh, but I also want to, you know, toggle what the tab looks like, but also show you guys the uh, the spreadsheet because both of them are some really, really, really cool pieces of information. And uh, visually, they look really, really, really good. So we're going to go ahead. We're actually going to go to the cave where we kill the rune dragons, check in on our kill count, and then we're going to kind of, you know, sum up the video. And we'll see you guys when we're in the cave. So we are here in Lithgrin where we actually go ahead and kill these beasts, which are the Runite Dragons. So we're going to go ahead and check our kill count for this episode to just give you guys a heads up as to where we are sitting. So last episode, if you don't remember, we ended on 18,104 kills. I just want to kind of emphasize that we have not killed 18,000 Rune Dragons during this series. I've actually been alting Rune Dragons for a very long time at this point. And this series was kind of a pickup, you know, about halfway through, I believe we have a little bit, uh, a little bit over 8,000 kills, which you guys saw in the bank tab. So we probably started this roughly around 10,000 kills or so. So if we go ahead and check out at the mural where we sit today at the end of today's episodes, we are sitting at 20,078 kills. So we have now officially killed over 20,000 Rune Dragons, which is very, very, very cool. So between last episode and this episode, that is a difference of 1,970 for dragon so as you guys can tell we have gotten four uniques and 1974 kills which is really 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 good for those of you guys who don't know the dragon limbs are a one in 800 drop chance and i believe the dragon metal lump is a one in 3000 drop chance so we are actually pretty much on rate for the dragon limbs we would have gotten uh, three of them in 2400 kills we are obviously a little bit over rate or uh you know we're doing very good in terms of the dragon metal lump between last episode and this episode but that doesn't account for all the you know the the thousands of kills that i was dry before that i'm just kind of using it in the sense of uh this episode compared to last episode so hopefully you guys did enjoy episode four i do apologize for the delay on it coming out as i mentioned uh previously i have been traveling a lot so i am very excited to bring you guys episode five very 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 soon we have roughly another 57 mil to go until that tab reaches halfway over that mark of the one bill. I mean, if we get a couple uniques in the next couple of days, I mean, that could bring that tab right automatically up to 500 mil very, very, very quickly. So 
Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy today's episode, make sure you guys do drop a like. And until next time, we'll see you guys then.